Okay. Here we have Lansky. Good morning to all of you folks out there that are interested in my DVD collection. Um, today I've got uh, Julia Roberts' brother, Eric Roberts. I'm a big fan of Eric Roberts. Even though he does a lot of B-movies, and you probably wouldn't even find his movies on on DVD, on, not on DVD, on Blu-ray. These were used I got from Amazon, all these uh, from Amazon that I'm getting ready to show you. And until I say so, they're all with, they have Eric Roberts in them. Uh, Richard Dreyfuss is in this too. And it's about a gangster from Italy uh, that I think basically got thrown out of the country for for uh, you know racketeering and whatnot, and uh, but uh, that's what this is about. And Eric Robert has a, a a second or third about a third part in it, you know. But it's mainly Dreyfus has the lead in the in the um, show. Okay, and um, wrong number. Eric Roberts, so total B movie. Uh, it's about uh, someone calling this woman, of course, and uh, and 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 basically, it's it's Eric Roberts stalking some woman, and here's the the um cov the um CD itself, and. Uh, I enjoy his films, even though they're B B movies. You know, uh, this one is Border Blues, and he and uh, Eric Roberts, of course, he lost um, his child, an eight-year-old girl, and uh, he's smuggling, you know, um, Mexicans or Americans or whatever into America, you know, or or into Mexico. I don't know, you know, some illegal stuff. And this little girl gets in the middle of, of this stuff, and he holds the little girl, and they think that he, the people from the United States think that he's holding this, this American girl hostage, and, and it's because he lost his daughter that he's holding this girl. It's got a crazy story. What can I tell you? Uh, intoxicating Eric Robert, of course. Uh, this is about him, you know, being in, uh, just getting high and trying to st stop being high, and and his father is 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 lost his mind in this in this uh, video, and he's trying to basically help his father, and 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 Eric Robert basically can't help himself here, so. Hell's Fire, real, uh, God only knows where I got this, I, yeah, I got this from Amazon, this is a real cheapy man, I think I got it for a quarter, all of these ain't paid nothing but like a penny or a quarter for them, and the shipping was like $1.75 when I got it, so these are like extremely cheap um, movies that I got used, they're all used, here's Lonely Hearts, and this and in this one, he uh, basically this woman falls in love with Eric Roberts, who is a con man, who has this um, uh, you know, uh, uh, he sells, he tries to sell property to people, and he don't actually have the property, and he swindles older women out of money. He gets he gets in a romance with them, and with these lonely older women, and swindle money out of out of them. And, uh, basically, it's a good movie, actually. Uh, Frozen Fear is a, a re is a religious movie. I didn't know that. Um, uh, and, uh, these people keep reliving the same day over and over again. Uh, this couple and Eric Roberts, um, keep showing up in the video, too, as, as some type of guidance for these people. He's not really that much in it. It's these other people that are in it. But as the star of the show, he keeps, you know, 
trying to guide these people into whatever, whatever, whatever is happening, why they keep waking up, living the same day over again. And I can't tell you the story in case you want to see. It's called Frozen in Fear. And uh, the butcher, he's a gangster in here, and he's um, trying to get away from the life and take some money. But uh, there's a lot of shooting and banging up going on in this. And here he is, the butcher. Yeah, there's no reason why I call him butcher. He doesn't cut anything, but he shoots up everything in, in sight. And here, uh, restraining order. Of course, <laughs> these are some elephant titles. He's like playing a real sicko in a lot of these here things. And uh, it, this one, he's uh, stalking someone. <laughs> he, you know, uh, he just—I don't know. He had a—he had a serious drug problem. I guess you know his career could have been better if he didn't have that drug problem. And since we're doing some action, I thought that I would uh, show you my Steven Seagal collection. We have uh, Above the Law, uh, Fire Down Below, uh, The Glimmer Man, and Under Sage, Under Siege, you know. So, and it comes like, you know, it was like, it comes out this way. And it's got a, a cover sleeve to it. I think I paid five bucks for it and you get like four movies in here and uh, you have like two two movies on each so you see you have two movies on each one you know like I said it gets the job done you know it's, it's Steven Seagal you know there's a lot of his movies would be movies anyway you know so but uh, still, he's fun to watch. And uh, this is, I try to, I'm trying to show off my collection bit by bit. So it's going to take a little bit of time. And then I will be getting new things too. So DVDs will be part of this channel from now on. Um, other things will be shown too, but I have a, a lot of DVDs. So, like I said, it's going to take time. And here is. Uh, forensic files uh, this one is uh, about uh, de death by poison and it's got several um, uh, uh, several uh, DVDs in here and I got this one for five bucks at Walmart's and here again see what this is get two in here and this is um, crimes of passion and this one is forensic file serial killers and you got two two discs in this one so that'd be it for 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 now, which way I go? I got to go because it's gonna shut off. Bye.